we're just preparing our fleece here to, to dry out. We've got it washed, we've got it rinsed. Now we're just kind of opening it up a little bit so it'll have a bigger opportunity to dry. It's awfully humid here in Missouri. I did a little bit of picking on this before I put it into the wash, so that's why it kind of looks like it's in one big lump here. Don't want to do too much pulling on it at this point if it's wet. Of course, it's very cold. Heat, water, soap, and agitation will felt fiber. So we want to be as gentle as possible when the fiber's wet. So this was five lingerie bags. You can get the lingerie bags at any Walmart hardware store. Don't fill them too full. Again, wash them until your water is fairly clear. Rinse them. I like to put something in the rinse water, whether it be fabric softener or hair conditioner works, just to take the static out. You can see these are in pretty nice sheets. Again, I ran these through the picker a little bit before I washed them. Usually it kind of comes out in a strand. It'll take, um, depending upon the humidity level, I've got a fan that runs under this table. We'll talk about the table later. It's just PVC pipe and hardware cloth. But I run the fan underneath it to get more air up underneath and circulating. But it'll take a couple of days to get it completely dry. If you're not going to work it up right away, you want it completely dry before you try and store it. Because it absolutely can mold and draw moths to it. Okay, so I'll plug in my fan, get it running, and get the process going. Fiber on the drying table.